Today we take a look at spring sports, recognize senior BVF member Evan Schrader, a chase scene, and welcome new teachers. The Bulldogs are busy competing. To start off with girls tennis is 4-3, and three. boys tennis is 7-1. and one. Girls golf also continues their success as Danny Hurt has finished as the top medalist at every meet. The track teams competed at Cherokee Tuesday night, where many scored PR, especially Evan Jalus with 122 feet and 1 inch at discus, and Austin Hayworth and Sam scored a PR in the 800. Soccer competed against Sioux City West Tuesday, and the girls have won two games, and the boys are 2-2 two and 1. Two and they compete this coming Monday at home. We would now like to recognize senior Evan Schrader for being a part of Bulldog Video Media. My name is Evan Schrader, E-V-A-N-S-C-H-R-O-E-D-E-R. And can you tell me, when did you start taking this class? Uh, this year. It's given me my last year. So. And can you tell me, um, do you recommend other people take this class? Uh, that depends on their traits like how they feel. Uh, some people mostly don't want to work with computers, but um, some people who wish to be a part of photography, this is, can be a good practice for it. And that's a wrap. Bye-bye. Thanks, Evan, for your work this year. One of the challenges in video media is to put together short films. Sam here put together a chase scene featuring Kyle Hubble and me. I can't wait to see the films the 6th hour class is doing. Speaking of, 6th hour students were able to get an exclusive of two new teachers for next year. Hola mi amigos, it's Franklin Emmerich for Bulldog Video Media. There have been many student teachers in the building this year, but two will be returning as full-time teachers for LCHS this fall. Reporters Kaden Rowling and Clayton Domps interviewed Blake Ferringer, while Ben Duquesne and Trey Heisinger interviewed Courtney Nelson. Uh, my favorite part about teaching is probably the aha moment, the, the moment where the student understands fully what's, what's going on in the content that I'm teaching and uh, can apply it to a life however they need. I'm going to be teaching industrial technology courses. Um, these will be like architectural, um, engineering, manufacturing, construction. Uh, a lot of the classes that uh, Mr. Dalton was teaching last year. Uh, I, I've always kind of had a, a hunch for the, the industrial arts. Um, my mother worked at, uh, owns a lumberyard, manages a lumberyard, and uh, she's the fifth generation in there. So I've always kind of had a construction background. I think that's kind of what pushed me towards the industrial technology field. Um, I would say the hardest part about teaching is probably uh, students' apathy, not, not caring about what's being taught. Um, I think a lot of that's probably because they just don't understand exactly 
how the the content that's being taught is applicable in the real world, how it relates, how they can use it. Um, so when that when the apathy is there, it's it's kind of difficult to teach. Um, I'm originally from Nebraska, small town Nebraska, Genoa, Nebraska. Um, went to Twin River Public Schools. Uh, three towns consolidated together to make a school. Um, grad uh, I have a lot of great classes. I'm excited to teach them. I, I encourage you to check them all out on the course description booklet on either the Lamar's webpage or you can talk to your guidance counselor. Um, I would like students to know that I'm teaching a lot of fun, exciting classes. Uh, they allow you to use your critical thinking and problem solving skills to figure things out. Um, and also incorporate your own type of creativity to each project and uh, lesson. Courtney Nelson grew up in Nebraska, attended Dort University in Sioux Center, Iowa, and will be teaching high school biology at Lamar's Community this fall. She first pursued a degree in elementary education, but she didn't change her mind. Found that I really just had a passion for the world and for teaching other people about the world that we live in and just how we can interact with it. So science became the choice, um, and I have loved it ever since. My favorite part about teaching is definitely getting to know the students and getting to interact with them and see their personalities come out as I get to know them better. It's always fun to see students um, who actually kind of enjoy what we're doing, and that comes out in their personalities, so that's my favorite. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I was a um, older sister. I have seven younger siblings, and um, I had lots of younger cousins, and I would come home from school, and we would play school in our spare time with the extra resources we'd bring home at the end of the year. And I just felt like I had a gift for explaining things and paraphrasing and rewording and just helping people understand. And yeah, I loved it. The hardest part so far is being a new teacher. We look forward to seeing them both full-time next school year. Congratulations, and don't let the students drive you too crazy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.